In Windchill MPM Link, you can create a process plan to document the different steps and operations in order to fabricate or assemble your different products. Let's take a look at a couple different ways of doing this. One way is by going to the manufacturing view of one of your objects. For example, let me go to a folder. In my video on starting the manufacturing bill of materials, I showed how to create a custom table view in which I can see both the manufacturing and design views of a particular object. Let me go to one of my manufacturing views. And so here we can see the structure over on the side. Let's open this up in the manufacturing associative part structure browser. And here I've got it open. I'm going to make a change to my filter. I am not seeing the object that I want to see at the top. Let's see, I want to see the manufacturing production view. Let's select this working one and remove it. And then click the OK button. There we go. Now I'm seeing my manufacturing production up at the top. One way that you can create a process plan is by going to the process plan tab down at the bottom. And here we have an icon to insert a new process plan. I will click on that. And here we have the form for creating it. And I'm going to give this the name process plan G2 S51 LCD. That's good enough. Here in my windshield instance, it generates the number for this object automatically. You can write a description if you want. For the view, I want this to be a manufacturing view, and I will let it be created in the same folder as the object itself. Here you have a drop down list where you can change the units from each to something like a length unit or even a volume unit, whatever you want. And for standard, I'm going to leave this no and occurrence allocation from any level. Let's leave that as no as well. And then click the OK button. And here we have the process plan created. I can right click on it and view information. And let's get rid of that toaster. Here we can see that we are on the process plan page. And if I expand or make this a little bit wider, you can see that it automatically has the part from which it was created listed in here. So that's one way. Let's go to the folder. Another way that you can create a process plan. Let's say I want to create a process plan for the top level phone. Let's go to the actions menu in the folder and then I will choose new and then let's choose new process plan and that'll bring open a, up a similar dialog box. Let's call this process plan and you can name it whatever you want. This is just how I do it and this is what like the G2S51 top level phone assembly and once again you can write in a description let's change this to manufacturing i'm happy with it being in this folder let's leave all the other information and then click the ok button and so now we have another process plan created let's click on the information icon for this one and you can see with a process plan you're going to have multiple different tabs of information here we are on the details tab and then the structure tab this is also known as a browser for the process plan and this allows you to do a number of different operations so for example i can create a new operation inside of here let's choose insert operations and for the number of operations, let's say I want to create eight operations to begin with. And we have a type drop down list. You can do either an operation or a standard operation. Do I want to check out the object? Ah, let's leave that unchecked and then click the OK button. And so now we have 
eight different operations automatically created in our process plan for us. And then we could go about editing them in order to provide the information necessary so that our manufacturing team can put this object together. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.